Hey guys, I'm Disney Dad. Today in this video, we're gonna cover what you should expect on the upcoming Disneyland reopening. Let's cover what we know so far about the upcoming opening, and that is that the state of California is allowing Disneyland to open after April 1st. And Bob Chappelle confirmed that they would open no later than the end of April. Restaffing is underway for the 10,000 staff members that they furloughed during this whole pandemic. This is huge news. With the April 1st opening date, I'm sure they're gonna try their hardest to open as soon as they possibly can, but we could probably expect it to be more at the, towards the end of April. Here's some things we know that are gonna be open, and that's Downtown Disney and Buena Vista Street are open. A Touch of Disney, a new ticketed theme attraction over at Disney California Adventure, opens on March 18th to a small ticketed audience, but the hotels will remain closed and will be reopened at a later date. We'll keep you guys informed when we find out. This is all hinging on the local government approval still pending for Disneyland Park and Disneyland California Adventure. They're still waiting to get all their plans in place to make sure the government signs off. Next up, it's something a lot of people want to know, and that is who exactly can visit Disneyland in this first phase of opening. Only California residents will be allowed at the parks until Orange County reaches the orange and yellow tiers of the blueprint for a safer and Economy. Small groups with a maximum of 10 people or three household groups may attend the resort together while the county is still in the red tier. Once the county moves into the less restrictive orange tier, capacity will be raised to 25% of park limits. Outdoor attractions can be open and advanced reservations will be required, but only California residents are allowed to attend in the orange tier. Once the county returns to a yellow tier, the capacity of Disneyland will increase to 35% and then the park will be open to visitors from outside of California. How can you get tickets to Disneyland? Let's talk about that. Like I said, tickets will be available for sale online for California residents only until further notice. Tickets will also be available via the Disneyland app and park reservations will be required as it is current case in Walt Disney World, Shanghai Disney, and other Disney properties. Now this is a big one. What rides will be open at Disneyland for this park opening? If looking at other Disney reopening offers any clues like Walt Disney World and Shanghai Disney, visitors can expect a limited rides available at park open. Rides that are outside will be open while indoor attractions may take longer to board or be closed for the time being. We're not quite sure yet because they haven't released a lot of information about this, but again, we will keep you updated with more information comes out. While in the red tier, the park will focus on rides that are primarily outdoors. Most rides will run at a 15% of maximum capacity with time restrictions according to the state guidelines. Once the county reaches the less restrictive orange tier, the park will be open to the 25% capacity. Indoor experiences will both have limited capacity and limited time restrictions. If the county is in the yellow tier, then the park can rise its total to 35% while indoor capacities will remain at 25%. According to the state's blueprint for a safer economy, you can bet things like shopping and ordering food during this phase will remain contactless. This next question is big and that is what to expect when you go for the park reopening. Now, I have a lot of experience with what's been going on with Disney World with the park reopening and the things that they require. Like, if you've watched some of my vlogs or other videos, they do the temperature checks, they check to make sure you have the right kind of mask, you can't have vents in it or it can't be a gate or anything like that, it has to be proper face masks. You can check their websites for examples if you're not sure. They will be on top of masks. At Disney World, they are very on top of masks. They have people that just walk around all day, make sure you're wearing your masks. Even still, they've been putting in more stinted mask requirements as time goes on instead of taking them away. So you will feel safe. You'll have a lot of things going on that will make you feel safe as if they do in Disney World. I'm sure it'll be the same in Disneyland. So they will keep six feet apart at the different rides. The fast pass lines will be closed and they'll just have one big queue where everyone's separated. The good news is you won't have to wait for rides as much because if it starts at that 15% capacity, that's not gonna be a lot of people. Therefore, it should be easier to get on and off rides without having to wait too long. There will be tons of hand washing stations, sanitizer, and also things like character meet and greets are gonna be a little bit different, um, as well as parades, the cancel all parades, and the meet and greets are very limited and they're very spaced out. Um, you can't get very close to the characters right now. And as far as parades, they still do random parades. They'll have characters drive through on cars and stuff at Disney World. So I'd imagine they're gonna do the same thing at Disneyland. They don't announce when the parades are gonna be because they don't want crowds to you know, conjugate around where the parade's gonna be. So it's just kind of a random thing. Characters will start driving around or there'll be a float or something or they'll be in a balcony and they'll be talking to people. So they still do character interactions, but you're gonna see it modified a little bit, but that's okay because it's still fun. With all that being said, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna be over at Disneyland. I can just give you what my experience has going to Disney World these last few um, months since they've been reopened. So we'll see as I get more information. I'll let you guys know. Subscribe down below so I can keep you guys updated. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.